What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Prince Python, HFS. I think that's the last three. I'm not sure yet. I'm not good at this, obviously. I don't try too hard. Anyways, borderline personality disorder. We are covering this because I am trying to unravel the enigma that is called Jessica. The thing called Naked and Laughing. The Banshee. The succubus, you know, well, we're trying to, now everyone's going to argue she's got some like bipolar stuff going on. That, that's obvious. I'm not going to cover that. Uh, this act, borderline personality disorder will actually kind of touch on that as well. I'm sorry I can't hold this stable. I, uh, I'm going to have to move around so I'm not using my tripod. But anyways... Borderline personality disorder is a mental health condition. People with borderline personality disorder have extreme mood swings, unstable relationship, and trouble controlling their emotions. Higher risk of suicide. She doesn't have that, I don't think. But self-destructive behaviors, definitely. Now, I already pulled it up. We're going to go forward to the Mayo Clinic. I already got the symptoms pulled up. Uh, you guys can look up what causes this. Um, you know, it's basically about like how you're brought up or some shit. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna get into it. Um, but here we got the symptoms: a strong fear of abandonment. Uh, this goes to extreme measures, so you're not separated or rejected, even if these fears are made up. I think that kind of applies to Josh. I, I can't say for sure. I can't read her mind. Next, we got a pattern of unstable, intense relationships, such as believing someone is perfect one moment and then suddenly believing the person doesn't care enough or is cruel. We've seen this. She, like, was would swear she was in love with Cobra. And we were all thinking, you know, maybe she's just wanting the money, but maybe she's fucking crazy to, enough to be in love with him, you know? And then we've seen her also get all self-deprecating, and then she suddenly believing the person doesn't care or is cruel. We've seen her cry in the bathtub. It's, uh, yeah, it's spot on so far, I think. Quick changes in how you see yourself. This includes shifting goals and values, as well as seeing yourself as bad or as if you don't exist. We've definitely heard her talk bad about herself. You know, she says, I'm ugly. I know I'm ugly. Everyone's told me that since the day I was born. So, yeah, there is, there's that going on. Next, periods of stress-related paranoia and loss of contact with reality. <laughs> These periods can last from a few minutes to a few hours. <laughs> So we'll cover. Oh, let's cover the stress-related paranoia. We saw her pretending to, you know, have someone follow her when she was coming home from the grocery store. Now, I personally think she could scare off any attacker. Uh, you know, I think she is the safest person at night. She's probably one of the safest females in the world at night. You know, as far as a sexual attack. Um, now, the next one. Loss of contact with reality. I want to focus on that. Loss of contact with reality. We saw her just fucking flip out randomly for like 30 minutes dancing. And, you know, we all assumed it's drugs. I don't think she can afford drugs. You know, was it dust or maybe? Because I'm sure Josh has some cans lying around. We didn't see that, though. And they can last from a few minutes to a few hours. So that 30 minutes fits right between in the middle, you know? A little bit, you know, closer to the few minutes, but it was a while. So impulsive and risky behavior, such as gambling, dangerous driving, unsafe sex, you know, spending sprees, binge eating... Uh, drug misuse or sabotaging success by quitting a job or ending a positive relationship. Let's break this down. There's a lot here. Um, impulsive and risky behavior. Tr fucking flying to meet some dude trying to get pregnant so you can have his babies and make the fucking... Make all his pay pigs. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to call you. 
um, donators. There we go. Make all his donators pay for it. But we heard her in that enhanced audio clip say, you know, if we get pregnant, you know, your donators will just pay for it. Um, and that is basically a gamble, too. Uh, dangerous driving, I don't think she can even drive, I'm not sure. Unsafe sex, well, she's, you know, goes with the, so far. Uh, spending sprees, I don't know, she's going shopping, she doesn't look like she's wasting money. Uh, she, well, she <laughs> wasted money on prenatals, that's for sure. Uh, binge eating, if anything, she's starving herself because of Josh's cooking, you know, she might lose some weight. Uh, but she is binge drinking. Uh, drug misuse, that's the drinking, probably duster, maybe some meth, I don't know. Maybe she's, you know, doing something on the corner when she goes out on those trips when we don't have a camera going. Sabotaging, whatever, all this in the middle, don't care. Sabotaging, positive, my bad, sabotaging, positive relationships. So, sabotaging positive relationships. We saw that when she was in the bathtub screaming at her parents. And they started fucking mocking her because they're done with that shit. No telling how long she's been doing this. And I, I can only imagine she has gotten worse since she has had this infatuation with Cobra. Who, in my opinion, doesn't seem to show any fucking ounce of giving a shit about her. And I think it's sad. You know, on both parts. I think Josh is an asshole. I think she's deluded. It's it, it's 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 a shit show all around, and we're watching it. So, here we got threats of suicide or self injury, often in response. I don't I don't know. She hasn't done that really, so I might be off on this. Wide mood swings, yeah, for that can last a few hours or a few days. We got this. Um, if anything, she just stays angry. I, I don't know when she's happy. Um, but yeah, they can include periods of very happy, irritable, anxious, or feeling shame. I mean, she's always irritable. She's always anxious, and she's always feeling shame. So, I think she's got some depression in there, which is probably obvious, you know. Mental health is never as easy as putting one label on it. It's, it's a multifaceted, complicated thing. Personally, I have anger issues. I suffer from stress, you know, anxiety, and depression, you know. But I'm seeking help for it, and I'm trying to get better, and that's what matters. And so far, I have, I've, I've, I've got a lot of help, and I'm feeling great. That's why I'm doing this. I'm hoping I can help somebody. Ongoing feelings of emptiness. I can't read her mind, but I can only imagine inappropriate. Strong anger, such as losing your temper often, being sarcastic or bitter, or physically fighting. The last one, which is the best. She has the most inappropriate strong anger, using the bundles of sticks word. I haven't heard her use the hard R, but I'm sure it's coming. Um, she's always telling people to like, get F'd by their dad or something, or SSD. It's always... Some weird incestuous thing with her, which I can't wrap my mind around. I don't know what causes that fucking craziness. And she also has a fascination with poop, I think. So there's like some really un... I think it comes with some unresolved issues as a child. So that's, that's what we're dealing with here. Um, and physically fighting, we didn't see it, but in that clip of the ceiling... We, we do see some movement, which maybe she was just tweaking, like, on that other video. Or maybe there was some physical thing going on with Josh. We don't know, because he won't tell us. You know, he's going to lie and try to look cool. You know, he's not going live. He's not even making food hacks that much, except for the wings slash ribs slash pork chops, whatever the fuck he wants to call them. You know, that's it. In, he he's hiding because he knows he's having a miserable time. He's fake sleeping while that bitch is playing a banjo and wearing a fucking mask like a psycho. I really thought she was going to get a fucking knife and just cut him. Like, I thought it was going to be the end right there when I was watching. Anyways, guys, um, yeah, have a good time. Uh, I'm trying to get better at these, but I, I can't promise shit because they're always on the fly. 
Uh, have a good one. Peace out. And uh, if you like the content, you know, like, comment, subscribe. You know, I'm not really trying to do this for money. I'm just trying to help out Josh, even though I know it's probably for a fucking pointless cause. <laughs> but anyways, have a good one.